what's some challenges that you've overcome that you either didn't think that you could or that you thought was a really massive roadblock to get over? And how did you do it? Well, I guess what I'll, the answer I'll give is um, about getting elected to this position in, into the presidency. So after we lost the election, the, the, you know, I'm a National Party member, we lost the election in March this year, and which meant I, I, I stopped being a, a minister. And, um, and then I was approached by um, the Labor Party, which is the other side of politics from me, um, about whether I would be interested in considering becoming the president of the, the upper house. And I had to think really carefully about that because, um, you know, it's not normal that uh, you would be supported by the other side of politics. But I decided to do it because I thought the institution was really important, that parliament's important, that democracy's important, and that it's, it is actually under threat in some parts of the world where... Um, people are undermining democratic institutions, undermining the press, undermining the rule of law. Um, and so I thought it needs, a, it needs to have people who are defending it. And what happened then was there are a whole range of attacks that came on me from uh, some shock jocks on the radio or um, in the newspapers and so on. So it was very public and it was very, and it was very unpleasant. Stressful? Incredibly stressful. Yeah. I mean, when you've got um, when you're on the front page of the papers, when you're on, you know, the nightly news, when you've got, you know, Ray Hadley or whoever ranting against you for 10 minutes on the highest rating breakfast program on radio, it's, it's heavy. It's really heavy. How do you manage that kind of pressure? You've got to focus on what's actually important. You've got to focus on why you're doing it and you've got to block it out and you've got to block out the stuff that isn't relevant. And I knew that all of that was going to disappear, that all of that, once I got elected, once I showed the job that I was doing, once I showed the sort of president that I was going to be in this, in this place, uh, that the negativity and the abuse would just disappear. And that's exactly what happened. Um, but it requires at the time when you're going through it, a real sense of focus mm. and, um, the capacity to be to shut things out, to shut everything else out. Did that focus nail in on your job and your day to day tasks? Is that the focus you use to power through it? Absolutely. Um, I think that there is nothing more important than focusing day to day to day on doing what you need to do. And I think that's that's a broader point, isn't it? And that's something that you you know better than anybody. Training. It's all about turning up. Day in, day out. Day in, day out. And I think any high-flying individual, any person who's in a, uh, a serious senior position, whether it's in politics, whether it's as an Olympian, whether it's a, an artist, whether it's a CEO, it's about turning up day after day after day. You know, people don't become successful and famous overnight almost ever. Um, or if they do, they tend to lose it like that too. Or, or, or it's by mistake. <laughs> or it's by mistake, yeah. Infamous. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, but the people who really succeed are the people who've been working at it, chipping away for a long time. 